Are you tired of missing shots you shouldn't miss? If so, you are in the right place. What the? Hi, Dr. Dave here to announce an amazing new aiming system called DAM. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. DAM is guaranteed to bring your game to the next level. DAM! DAM! I'm being a little silly about DAM to make fun of the many proposed aiming systems we've seen over the years. But DAM is a real thing, although it really isn't a system. It's just an explanation and detailed summary of how top players aim. This video will cover each important element of DAM, including aiming while standing, accurate and consistent personal vision center alignment, focused and straight drop into your stance, careful checking of tip and cue alignment, focused vision lock with solid stroke execution, and hitting a million balls through smart practice. The most important thing pros do when they aim is visualize the shot and aim while standing before getting down into the stance. Pros do not use any procedural aiming system for cut shots. They aim intuitively using all the visualization capabilities of their brain trained by countless hours of smart practice and successful experience. They just see the shot angle and required line of aim. Aiming while standing is important because from a higher perspective it is much easier to see the angle and aim of a shot. It is much more difficult to see the required line of aim when down on the shot. Therefore, you should trust the aim you see while standing and not change your aim when in a low stance. If you have difficulty aiming, it can help to practice visualizing the imaginary ghost ball where the cue ball needs to be at object ball impact. It can also help some people to visualize the required contact point between the balls. And it can also help some people to just visualize the amount of cue ball object ball overlap required to create the cut angle necessary. The template linked in the video description can be cut out and used at the table to practice visualizing the cut angle, ghost ball position, contact point, and ball overlap for any shot. To practice ghost ball and contact point visualization, it can help to set up a shot with the ball number at the required contact point, like this. You can also place an extra cue ball at the required ghost ball position. And if using red measles cue balls or any marked or striped balls, you can line up the dots, marks, or stripes with the line of the shot at both the ghost ball and cue ball. All these things can help you train yourself during practice to visualize the angle and aiming line required for the shot. Regardless of what you focus on when you aim, it can help to visualize the line to the pocket. This also helps you clearly see the angle of the shot. Then return to the cue ball and do the most important part of aiming while standing, where you visualize and align to the required line of aim. This position is where pros do most of their actual aiming, visualizing the line to the pocket, cut angle, ghost ball, and required line of aim. When moving from the pocket line view to the cue ball view, it can help some people to focus on the required ghost ball position or contact point during the move, like this. Again, the most important element of good aiming is visualizing and aligning to the required line of aim while standing. This will help you come down along the correct line of aim and be more effective pocketing balls. An important part of aiming while standing is carefully aligning your personal vision center with the line of the shot. If you want to find and test your vision center position, see the videos and info on the resource page linked in the video description. Even though I am right eye dominant, my personal vision center is right between my eyes, so I have my nose lined up with the line of the shot while standing and when down on the shot. If I didn't, I would see the shot wrong. When most top players get into their stance, their eyes are focused along the aiming line at the object ball target. This helps them drop straight down, keeping their vision center aligned with the line of the shot the entire time. This should be the case regardless of how you get into your stance. Here, I am walking into the stance. And here, I have my back foot in place, stepping out into the stance. 
Regardless, when you get down into your stance with focus on the object ball, you are rotating the visualized shot picture straight down into the stance. This helps you maintain the aiming while standing alignment the whole way down, so you don't need to aim when you are down in the shot, which can be problematic. When a pro is down on the shot, they move their eyes back and forth between the cue ball and object ball to make sure the cue is aligned with the aim while standing shot picture. It is best to hold the cue still while doing this so you can better focus on the tip and cue alignment. This is what it looks like from the shooter's perspective. You need to verify that the tip is exactly where you want on the cue ball and the cue is aligned perfectly with the line of aim. If things are off a little, you need to rotate the cue and shift the bridge hand together small amounts to bring the tip and cue into alignment. Here, the tip is well off from the desired center ball alignment. If things are off this bad, you should stand up and start again. But when you make adjustments, you cannot just pivot the cue. For example, here the cue alignment with the line of aim is good, but the tip is off. If you just pivot the cue to center the tip, you create cue alignment error. Here, the tip is centered, but the cue alignment is off. Again, you cannot just pivot the cue to correct the line of aim. Here, this creates tip placement error. Again, you need to move the bridge and rotate the cue small amounts together to bring everything into line. Focus is a key word in several of these elements. Consistent and intense focus is one thing that separates great players from everybody else. An important step after warm-up strokes and before the final stroke is a pause at the cue ball. At this point, great players do a final check and then lock their eyes on the object ball target before the final stroke. And they execute the stroke with still laser focus eyes, still head and body, and good fundamentals, creating a straight stroke with smooth acceleration into the cue ball for accurate and consistent speed control. If you need help with your stroke fundamentals, see the best practices link in the video description. The main reason why pros aim so well is they have put in the practice. There is no shortcut to aiming excellence. You literally need to hit a million balls to reach their level. The keys are practicing a lot, diagnosing your misses, and learning from your mistakes. Only smart practice makes perfect. If you want some advice on how to practice the most effectively, see the link in the video description. If you ask pros how they aim, most are not able to express a clear, accurate, and satisfying answer. The main reason for this is they aim intuitively, without thinking. They are certainly not using any sort of procedural aiming system. What makes them so effective is lots of smart practice and using a consistent and purposeful pre-shot routine. It is important to learn how to aim intuitively, without cluttering your brain with aiming system mumbo-jumbo or any thoughts, or by trying to focus on a single thing like a contact point or an imaginary ghost ball. Aiming is a very visual thing that requires the full power of your brain to execute. If you train your brain to aim naturally through smart practice and a consistent and purposeful pre-shot routine, you will develop and improve faster. If you want help with your pre-shot routine, see the link in the video description. And for more info on aiming-related topics, see the aiming resource page also linked. And if you want help with learning how to adjust your aim for throw when necessary, and adjusting your aim for cue ball deflection when using side spin, see the online tutorial links in the video description. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.